Okay, come sit here. I swallow nails. <laughs> Okay. It's a little close. <laughs> no. Just need to check I don't look too scruffy on camera. <laughs> I know it looks scruffy in real life. Welcome back to our channel. It is the end of the year and we're doing another end of year review like we did last year. 2022 was a big year on our farm with a lot of changes. If you've been following us, you've uh, probably seen a lot of stuff going on. It feels like a big year for us anyway. It was actually the second year of owning this land. So if you want to see more about what we did in the first year, here's a video um, of our goals from last year and how we did last year. But yeah, I think to start, let's have a quick look back at some of the stuff that we've been up to this year. So we started the year with both of us working full time, Mauro in the office in the city and me here remotely. So I was inside on my laptop all day. We had no garden to speak of. Um, Toffee was the only animal here on the farm. I was showering in cold water in a bag hung from a tree and I was really struggling to get anything done with the time and the skills that I had at that point in time. The only thing I felt confident to start working on was the garden because I felt like I couldn't really make any major mistakes there and also because it was easy to do a little bit here and there in the short amount of time that I had available. In February we put up and furnished a bell tent because we expected to have some visitors in the coming months. I also quit my job since we realised that we really couldn't progress in anything substantial with both of us working full time. In March I worked my final day and we also gave up the flat which Mauro had been renting in Valencia to save money. We had visitors in March and April and we did a lot of work on the garden which was starting to take shape. I built us a hot indoor shower, we finished making the composting loo and we continued working on the garden. With so much more time available, things really felt like they started to take off. The other main achievements of this year have been adding a lot more animals to our farm, digging a big trench to fix a broken water pipe, building a goat shelter and enclosure using natural building techniques, and generally experimenting with as many things as possible to see what works, what we like, where our skills are lacking, and what kind of stuff we want to keep working towards in the future. Now we're at the end of the year, it really feels like so much has changed in these last 12 months. Mauro now lives here all the time as well um, and works remotely from the cottage. So we have no rent or mortgage anymore since we don't have a flat in the city. I've learnt so much over the last year and feel so much more confident in so many things. Our level of comfort here feels a million times better than it was one year ago and I found that I love making these videos as well and sharing our farmstead with you guys. In real life we've also made some really good friends here too in the village and nearby um, and overall we just feel like we're in a really good place and are really lucky to be living in this lovely little part of the world world so yeah that's kind of what we've been up to um let's have a look at how it matches up with the goals that we actually set ourselves whether we've been going in the right direction or whether we just got distracted with a load of other projects probably a bit of both how do you feel the year's with, gone yeah for me for me it was a bit weird because i i moved here i started living here full time in september so the first half feels and i also changed jobs so it feels like two different years in one but but yeah it, it it did it does feel like a lot of stuff happened and we did a lot of stuff so looking back at some of our goals goals that we set ourselves for this year i mean i wouldn't say we're not super goal driven but we did sit down and think about some of the directions that we wanted to go in and just make sure we were sort of set on yeah. what our main areas of focus were going to be for the year so it's like a general to-do list of things that 
at the end of the year we like to think oh at least we dedicated some work towards this the thing is like having a project like this there's always things kind of catching your attention ideas that come up and things that you see other people doing that you think would be really cool to try so it things is that break. things that, things that break yeah things that suddenly need your attention so it's good to have a rough idea of like what we want to be working on mm -hmm. um but yeah other stuff comes up anyway what were those things so our first thing was to spend less time working and more time at the farm we definitely did this because I was already living here full time from the end of last year, but now Mauro is here full time as well, so spending more time here is definitely happening. Yeah, it was it was nice to like the months that I was not working uh, on my job and working full time here. That was really nice. That was like a nice working holiday. Yeah. Mauro had about three months Ish. when he wasn't working in between jobs, which was really good because I don't think you've ever done that before. So no, not that long that for sure. Good. Oh, and I quit my job this year, so yeah, I am was that working that, less. Was that yeah. this year? Yeah. Wow, it feels March. like ages ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, accommodation for guests. Yeah, we did We did that. We put up a teepee, a bell tent in February, and we've had lots of guests stay in it since then. Um, I've had my mum, I've had lots of good friends come and visit. Um, it's been full quite a lot of the time to be honest like most months we've had someone in there at some yeah. point so it's been a really good investment in that sense i don't know how long it'll last it's starting to look a little bit shabby we probably need to protect it with some sort of like protector cover yeah, um, yeah. but just to think that it saved so many people from staying in airbnbs or something like that it's been it's been a really good investment so far so we're super happy with it and um, the shower and the hot water project yeah that's yeah we did that working yeah i did that yeah yeah, good job. <laughs> Certified plumber. <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have you have the overalls for a plumber. That's number one. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was good. Um, I'm really glad we did that. It makes such a difference. So we had um, kickstart the farm, um, whatever that means. Yeah, I guess at the beginning of last year we didn't really have. At the beginning of last year, I'd only just sorted out like the water situation here. We only just filled up this main deposit and fixed all the piping. So I was still like only just getting used to having water available in the garden. So I hadn't really built any beds or anything at all until that point. So no, there's yeah, so many beds. all the beds. Yeah, we built all the beds this year. Um, yeah. That was a lot of work. We had, done. we had a really good harvest season, like yeah, we got courgette quite a lot of seeds. season. Yeah. We have uh, lots of kale and leaf, leafy yeah. greens and fruits and yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've kick-started like the garden. I wouldn't say it's a farm. Or, yeah, yeah. I mean, like a family, family-sized farm, I guess. Like, but we've ate so much from. Yeah. We've ate so much from the farm that I feel like it's for sure we check this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And also, and also, the main thing is that to repeat that next year is going to be so much easier because you have uh, like all the beds yeah. ready. Like you have. And I learned so much. You, you've learned so much yeah. from it. You know what's yeah. going to be good in each season. So, so you've yeah. definitely done it's, that. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's in progress. Chickens, we've yeah. got chickens. Yeah, yeah. That was also. I'm really glad that we did that. That was also a really good thing that we did. And it was one of those things that, like, it wasn't necessary to have chickens in our first year. It was one of those things that we put on the list because, I mean, like, something like the shower was really pressing, and I really wanted to get it done. But chickens, it's nice to have eggs, but we didn't eat them for years, and it wasn't like super necessary. But it was just one of those things that I was really excited about, and I really wanted to have, and. I'm really glad we did it. Yeah. Because having chickens is really nice. Having the eggs is really nice. And it's just a really nice addition to and it, the And they're easy. They're easy. Yeah, it's a and good we learn lot. animal to start with. Yeah, we learn a lot about yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, and they've been great and they're lovely. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Uh, it'd be cool to show like a graph of like how many eggs we got each week because I, we have the data. I can so show the I can show the chalkboard. No, but like a graph to go like boom, 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 no, you can going do that up. If you want. Okay, I'll do the graph. <laughs> Expand our solar energy system. Uh, well, we did this, yeah. yeah, we put two more panels up um, and we cut down some trees which were blocking the morning sun, which was also like um, putting an issue. up four more panels. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that thing, the trees was the main thing. So, I had a goal for myself of swapping or selling some of our homemade, homegrown produce um, in the local community. And I didn't think I was gonna um, achieve this one because oh, I thought you had it. Yeah. You thought I had it. Yeah, because when? as soon as you jar something, you yeah, can already but, swap. That. Okay, I swapped loads of stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't like it was all like very casual. I I didn't sell anything until the other week yeah. when I started selling eggs. So some of our neighbours who don't have chickens, there's a few people who like to 
by our eggs off us um, when we've got extra. So yeah, we've actually done that now. Officially the egg lady of the area. <laughs> well, <laughs> not officially. Yeah, I think officially. <laughs> Very unofficially. <laughs> and then you had a goal for yourself. You wanted to build something from start to finish. Yeah. How it it makes go? it sound it makes it sound like I did it on my own, which I which I clearly didn't. But but yeah. Well, the goat shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goal was to build something to like gain some experience in, in building be it with whatever materials so so i'm, I'm glad we could mm -hmm. start and and finish the no, but you shelter. did the majority of it and it no. was, and you also like led it because like i didn't really know what i was doing and when i came to help out on the copying i was just like doing what you told me to so that was nice for me to not have the project as like a mental load yeah. i was just like tell me what to do yeah yeah it was it was good to have like sort of my own project yeah um, uh, but but yeah i think one thing that i learned is that you, you can't really do anything on, on your own especially no, no. especially with construction so so i don't think for next year i will have a goal of oh i want to build this on my own it's like um, it, it's good to have a goal of like, okay we need this let's i think I'll, the skills I'll be the one to try and make it happen yeah i think the skills are yeah. more in in the in the organizing yeah. and like getting the right people to help and and like getting all the materials up front and all of that yeah and then and then eventually with the people if you get the right people they will help you and and you will learn from yeah. them and they will learn from you so so yeah i'm really happy with what we did uh it didn't oh, yeah, take as amazing. long as, right. as i thought it would take um it looks really nice i think when the gods come back they're gonna love it so yeah yeah good we job. built something una wasn't a goal but we got her <laughs> <laughs> yeah get more naughty dogs was that yeah a goal? that wasn't a goal <laughs> What's your goal for next year, Una? Eat more eggs. <laughs> yeah, eat more eggs. <laughs> What's this? An egg? What's Toffee's goal? Chase more chickens. Chase more chickens. What's your goal, Toffee? Uh, more naps. More laps, more naps. That's yeah. Toffee's goal every day. So what are, our, what, are our, what, what are our actual goals for 2023? Like, well, again, like we were saying at the beginning, it's not, we don't really have it's not goals as such that makes it sound like way more organized than it is this whole project it's just what sort of things do we want to be working on next year come on down you get yeah it's kind of hard to say um for 2023 we've set ourselves what i think is quite a provisional loose and very achievable <laughs> list of things because we only really want to do one thing next year and that's have a baby so if that happens priorities will shift and who knows what we'll manage to do or not manage to do so yeah, it's uh, it's hard to kind of go into 2023 with like a solid idea of, okay, we want to do this. We're definitely not doing anything on the ruin. We're definitely not like massively expanding the garden or the growing or trying to start a business or anything yeah. kind of crazy like that. We but have enough with what we have right now. Yeah, and everything that we've been doing over the last year kind of continues. Nothing is kind of finished, even yeah. the shower. Like there's things that I would want to change there, like the floor's not done. Um, things like the garden, the farm, selling, swapping produce, all of that just continues. So you're adding stuff on top of stuff. So what sort of things are we looking at for next year? Yeah, I think one of the main areas of focus for us is to make the our tiny house um, more livable, more comfortable. Uh, and one of the main areas that we could improve is the kitchen. At the moment, as you've seen, the kitchen is open. Um, so it's quite cold. Yeah, it can it, be cold. Animals can come in and out as they please and steal the food that they want <laughs> una, and uh, mainly una with eggs and the, and the cats also like we're, we're fairly disciplined at not ever leaving any food out in the kitchen which is normally where you leave your food out yeah, but you just leave because cats out. will yeah anything that you leave out cats will get it so uh, i think we took the uh, step in the right direction by making the uh, cat house yeah, outside the cats out. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, we need a door. We basically need a door <laughs> there, and and just be able to close that, uh, close the yeah. kitchen. And proper uh, windows. Proper windows, and also improve the surface situation because yeah. at the moment all the surfaces are very not very well planned. There's not a lot of storage, so all the surfaces get just full of stuff yeah. and never organized. So it's quite uncomfortable sometimes to cook, especially when you cook something more elaborate than your typical dinner. Well, I have plans for like, for me, the kitchen would be like the number one project plan for next year um like the big thing that we do i don't just want to like put a door in and put windows in and just make it okay i really want the kitchen to be like good like just 
make it the opportunity to yeah, very practice, useful. Yeah, like to practice some of the skills that we've learned so far and just actually dream up like how would like our dream kitchen be and what would it look like and what kind of storage and stuff would we have. Just make it like the best kitchen we can and just do a really good job on it. And like one of the dreams we have for the kitchen is to not use gas in the new like reconfigured kitchen and yeah. just cook with like a Arga fire um, mud stove type thing. We haven't quite kind of figured that side out yet. Gas is obviously like super convenient and it's also what we're used to. So like learning to cook a different way is obviously a big thing. Um, anyway, that's kind of a dream goal that would be really cool to try and I don't figure think, out. I don't think that's what we're gonna do next in v, year. In kitchen V1. Yeah, I think kitchen V1 will be enclosed, better surfaces and then eventually figure out I'm the feeling, stove situation. I'm feeling ambitious about the kitchen. We'll see. Well, yeah. <laughs> Doors and floors. Yeah, yeah, that's another big one. I think the main source of heat loss is um, A, having... Uh, well, not heat loss. Like, the, the, the cement floors are really cold. Um, Carry on and, talking. I'm just going to get the chickens out of the garden. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Oh, that's a big shot. So yeah, the, the the main sources of the house not being super warm, I think, are the the concrete floor and also the fact that the doors and windows don't are not super airtight. So I think uh, the the solutions to those are getting better doors and uh, and windows, mainly doors, because the the one window that we have is all right, but uh, but mainly the doors. Uh, it'd be nice for the main door of the house to uh, have glass so that more light comes in so double as a as a as a window um, and then also the side door that connects to the to the kitchen that's also a very thin and mm. just not a great door all around <laughs> um ducks so. ducks <laughs> ducks, <laughs> ducks. <laughs> 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 yeah, ducks. Yeah, what ducks. can I say? Ducks. What more can you say? <laughs> yeah, the chickens have been great. Um, we love having the eggs. Everyone else loves the eggs. Duck eggs, I think, will also go down a treat. Yeah, that's also going to be quite a big project if we get around to it because um, I would want to fence in a much bigger area for the chickens and the ducks to have together and build a duck house. And obviously, they need a pond and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's something I would love to do. Um, but uh, who knows? This is like. This is like the chickens was for me last year. It's just something I just want to do and I would be really happy to do it. It's not necessary or urgent at all. Yeah. But not everything has really to be. Nice. Not can, everything yeah. has to be. You just like some things you just yeah. do because you like them. So I think that's yeah, I think that's the thing. Like sometimes you've got to let let yourself go where you just wanna what you wanna do, not just everything feel like a urgent pressing chore. Yeah. Some stuff's gotta be fun. When when are duck eggs going to be urgent? Never. So you have to do it at some point if you really want it. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> That's a good point. But yeah, apart from that in the garden, there's not much I want to do. Just keep going with what we're doing. Um, keep planting a few more trees now and then. Um, I would like to get my flood irrigation field finished or planted or at least kind of <laughs> working. Going, um, yeah. going, yeah, even if it's just green manure all the way through it. Um, have that area kind of knowing how to manage it and have that as an option to plant if we well, want to. And also we, we'll be learning about um, improving the soil, which is something that yeah. obviously we yeah. want to know just, more about. Yeah, just keep keep doing all of that stuff, keep keep uh, applying manure, keep feeding the soil and doing everything we're doing and learning more about that. I have one that we didn't write down, mm -hmm. which is pruning. Mm -hmm. um, all the almond trees and all the uh, all the olive trees on the other side I, I feel like we, we could like learn more and just like start pruning them more regularly yeah um, we haven't given much attention to any of the trees on the other side of the barranco this year yeah. our focus has been more over here we've also got three tons of manure over there that we yeah, need to spread the, out and the manure and the manuring but but yeah just taking just in general taking care of the trees that are good and also the ones that are not looking that good there's a lot of almonds that are looking really sickly and I think we've been putting off like doing anything with them for ages because we're a bit afraid to make like the fatal cut you know like people have told us that we probably need to be like quite uh ruthless, ruthless with them make a big cut cut off everything that looks dead and hope that it kind of re-sprouts from the trunk so I think we've been a bit afraid to do that so I think uh figuring out what it actually is that we need to do with our almonds yeah. to give them a chance to kind of come back to life would be good but yeah you just reminded me that there's one other thing that I really want to do I've wanted to do this for ages and that is like make an aerial 
plan of our land with all the trees and the pieces and the bits and pieces together. I really think we should have done this ages ago. It should have been like one of the first things we did, print out a big like Google Earth satellite image from top down and mark the trees, mark what we've pruned, what we've manured, what we've got where and just, yeah, have that map. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how many olive trees we've got, like, I have no idea. We need the inventory. The inventory, yeah. yeah. Uh, apart from um, having our own baby, it would be nice to have God babies. <laughs> and Something born here next year yeah. would be nice. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so we, like, um, we got the goats so that we could eventually um, have goat milk and, and especially make uh, cheese. So if they get pregnant, which they are trying right trying. now as we speak, um, then it would be nice to yeah start milking them, start learning about taking care of them and start making cheese, which is the part that we actually know how to do. Now we're talking about all of this, it does actually feel a bit ambitious because I do, I do think that like having the goats, both of them producing, milk at the same time is going to be a lot of work like and a yeah. lot of learning and yeah. it's going to be quite a long time that we're going to be like up to our eyeballs in milk making cheese making butter well, trying to give it away to people yeah we have neighbors like, that will be, want it yeah, yeah but it's going to be a massive thing it's going to be yeah. like a big part of our lives for quite a long time and depending on how long we want to kind of try and keep them in milk that could be half of next year could be related to goat milk it could be a massive project any extra goals or things that you're going to be thinking about next year yeah i think for me personally I, now that i have a full-time job it's I, i'm not gonna be too ambitious and and have a big plan um in the farm because really I work eight hours a day and most of the during the day. So I, I think my main goal, my main goal is to um, develop good habits uh, at work. Like working remotely requires a lot of discipline and, and like organizing yourself um, so that I can help you with whatever projects you have and and also just be healthier in general. Because I feel like if if you're just sitting eight hours a day in your desk. You can develop habits that are not mm. that healthy so i would like to just make space for exercising mm. and like being out during the uh during the day and maybe working more during the um when the when it's dark outside and just yeah, yeah just organize myself better so that i can the little free time mm -hmm. that i have uh be able to yeah. help you with yeah. all all the yeah. things that we talked about and he does he does help in like normal things <laughs> like, yeah 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 like cooking and stuff yeah yeah it's not <laughs> like, it's not like i don't do anything but but, but, but like when farm you, related yeah, projects. yeah yeah it's yeah. like when you see harriet just <laughs> shoveling manure all day it's like while she's doing that i'm working yeah uh, so um so yeah just just fun times to i don't know chop firewood or or yeah whenever you have like this heavy tasks to yeah. be able to help you yeah in general that's what i think so yeah stick around for 2023 if you want to see us milking goats and um what else did we say building a kitchen and ducks <laughs> and ducks yeah <laughs> and obviously more toffee content yeah the more naughty una egg thieving content yeah the more, more i think about stuff. yeah the more i think about it i, I think we are quite ambitious <laughs> yeah but, but it's but it's okay so yeah we'll see yeah We'll see. We'll see. I think we'll get distracted also. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching this video and uh, yeah, Happy New Year. Not sure when this is going to be out, probably around New Year. So yeah. Happy New Year and we'll see you next week. Una! Ah. Is that frogs? I think it is. Really loud frogs. Hello, welcome back to... <laughs> Oh no, I hate the hello. The hello is the hardest part. Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to our video. So it won't it look weird if we keep looking there? No, because like... we're going to look and then look back to the camera to... Yeah, but if you have your laptop here, it no, might look it'll more be... natural. No, it's not be too in. We're going to look right, and right, we're going right. to look back at the camera. All right. And no one's going to know there's a laptop right. there. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Harriet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I didn't think we had to. Okay. Introduce.